guys all having a lovely weekend so far it's the first weekend of october and you know what that means it's currently saturday morning and i i'm dressed to go pumpkin picking so i found a place online called underly farms i think i think that's how you pronounce it underly farms and oh my goodness it looks incredible um they have everything they have obviously a huge pumpkin picking field they also have a corn maze they have little craft stalls they also have a cafe and then they've got loads of bits for kids as well so if you have children and you're looking <clears throat> hello have children and you're looking for something really fun and autumnal to do then it looks really good they have big inflatable pumpkins and face painting i used to adore getting my face painted when i was younger believe it or not i always used to get a cat painted on my face yeah today we want to pick all the pumpkins because tomorrow we are finally decorating the porch i think i have everything I need. So my loves, get cosy, get yourself a nice hot drink, get some snacks. M&S actually have in all of their Halloween snacks. So preferably some Halloween snacks, seeing as it's October. Light a spooky candle, um, get under the blankets, and I really hope you enjoy spending a really autumnal, how many more times want to say autumnal, weekend with us. <laughs> so today's pumpkin picking outfit of the day is this jacket which is brand new i actually found this we went food shopping in m s the other night and i saw it in the fashion bit of m s and i just thought it was perfect it's like a a teddy bear checked jacket also got on a plain black top plain black leggings and then also these boots from mango my only critique with these boots is they come up so high and now I've got very short legs, so I kind <laughs> I kind of feel like they take up most of my leg, um, but they kind of give me welly vibes, so I think they'll be very appropriate for pumpkin picking. Jamie will probably have Jamie will probably say otherwise. He always moans about my footwear. One point one miles. Okay, this is hot dogs here. Hot dogs? Is that a thing at pumpkin patches? I've never been to a pumpkin patch. You've never. Hang on. Well, uh, strict. To be fair, that's an actual. That is a lie because. Okay, um, we our relationship is salvaged. Year. Jamie, we didn't go to one last year. We, we tried to. <laughs> Have you genuinely never been to a pumpkin patch? No. I've got no need to go to a pumpkin patch. What about when you were younger? Why would I go to a pumpkin patch? Your mum never, Janice never took you to a pumpkin patch. No, we got Janice. pumpkins from Asda to carve. To be fair, I don't think my mum ever took me to a pumpkin patch. <laughs> oh, right, I but just... you're judging me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm shocked to say the least. Pumpkin patches are one of life's... <gasps> Jamie, stop, look. Wait, guys, look. PYO, pick your own pumpkins this way. <gasps> <laughs> Let's follow the big uh, orange pumpkin then, shall we? We've arrived. <gasps> wow. Oh, Jamie, this is where we can get some corn for our porch. Is that called maize then? It's a maze. No, it's not mm. called maze. It's a ma they've made a maze out of it for people to go round. Oh, what's maze then? Because they do maze mazes as well, don't they? Not sure. Mm. Oh, guys, life is good. I like the trees. Reminds me of a horror film. <laughs> Reminds you of a horror film? These fit this field. Oh, look, there's people coming out of the... Oh, no. <laughs> I thought that was a person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! This is so cute. Where's the gummage? Oh my goodness! <gasps> Guys, if you haven't heard, there is going to be three new episodes of Where's the Gummage this Christmas. <laughs> you know that's like my favourite thing ever. I told Mum, and she was very happy about it. Also, it's our thing to watch. That massive pumpkin. <gasps> oh. 
<laughs> my it's a pumpkin house god <laughs> this is so oh my god look, look at the haystack i think it is a thing for kids <laughs> and then there's me and jamie there's a cookie stand jamie there's hot dogs sure wood fire pizza oh. girl in the car next door has got the same shacket on as me jamie look See. She must have found her in m &S as well. <laughs> Shacky twins! What are the chances of finding a shacket in m and and then you pull up to a pumpkin picking bonanza, which, <laughs> which is an hour away from your house, and you park next to someone with the same shacket on? That's just unheard of. The entrance is over there, and you've got all of your wheelbarrows here, which you take over to the pumpkin patch, which is absolutely huge. Then there's the maze entrance here, which I really want to go in. I don't know. Maybe things for kids to play in. They've got like a big hay bale. <laughs> yeah, go play in the side. Big hay bale, like stack over there. Loads of inflatables, and then there's loads of food stands. There's donuts. Um, I think, oh Jamie, there's like a barbecue thing there. Yeah, like a barbecue it. stand, hog hey, roast. One of these is avocado machine. <laughs> the cookie, oh my god, little cookie yeah. one. Wood fire pizza. He's gone for a, <laughs> what is it? Hog, hog, roast, hog yeah. roast bat with and apple sauce, sauce and crackling. Scratching. Wow. Jamie's chosen <laughs> the loudest. <laughs> wheelbarrow <laughs> out of the lot oh my god oh it's so cute here guys i love it so we are heading over to the pumpkin patch wow i'm sorry but that is the most perfect pumpkin i ever did see <laughs> have you found a good one wow that's a good one. Get it in the wheelbarrow. Is it burrow or barrow? Am I saying this wrong again? Barrow. Oh, oh no. Everyone. <laughs> Guys, if you. <laughs> the pumpkin just fell out the wheelbarrow. Guys, if you get the chance to come here. Oh my goodness, such a fun day out. Like, there's so much to do up there, which we haven't even properly looked at yet. Um, we've decided to come and do a pumpkin sweep and then pop them in the car <laughs> Jamie's just falling over and then we're gonna come back get some food oh, oh nice get some food and then there's also a huge marquee which I didn't even see which has I looked through the I could see through the door they had loads of like Halloween decor they had loads of like pumpkin cushions and like big signs and I think you can buy it. I think it's like a craft store that you can buy um, so we're gonna go have a little look around there, but honestly, I've never been to a pumpkin patch like this. I've only really been to the one locally um, to where I used to live, and it, it was literally just a pumpkin patch. It was nothing like this. Honestly, I'm so happy. Like it last year because we didn't get a chance to go to a pumpkin patch. Wow, I said pumpkin patch a lot. It didn't really feel like October, but well maybe this one's made up for the lack of one last year yeah how's your first how's your first ever pumpkin patch experience i'm actually quite enjoying it actually it's cool isn't it <laughs> i love it i feel like i missed out for years <laughs> also guys as well the tickets you have to book tickets for here just so you have a time slot um but you can literally stay here all day we booked 11 till 5 and it's free as well obviously like pumpkin picking's free and then you have to pay for your pumpkins at the end but i think the maze and stuff you have to pay for separately but the actual pumpkin patch is free which is amazing
that's such a cool one. That's kind of like a witch's nose. You know, witches have all like them warts. Wow, love it. <laughs> Jamie's in his element. I just keep hearing, look at this one, look at this one. I found the perfect pumpkin. Oh, I love the mini ones. They're so cute. Look at these ones. <gasps> they are perfect. They are coming home with us to go on the porch. <laughs> uh, we're getting a little bit full. <laughs> Oh, these are great. They're so big. <clears throat> we should get like a really big one to carve as well so we can like put that out on the porch on Halloween. Found the cutest pumpkin ever. What is Do you know what that looks like? Bowling skittle. The snoz cucumber from uh, BFG. Maybe they've planted the wrong thing there. Look at this one as well. We found like a par where they're all like really different types of pumpkins. Oh wow, look at this one. Bit Try not to stand any. Oh. oh wow! Oh, you are top pumpkin picker. I'm. I'm. I don't believe you that you've never been before. You're definitely an experienced pumpkin picker. Oh, that's a nice one. Strikes again. This is our pumpkin stash so far. I love all of these super cute little different ones. The pumpkins have taught me a lesson today. Why? <laughs> Jamie Sutherland, 2021. That's a great one. On it. Guys, if you need to, if you just need someone with an eye for pumpkins, Jamie's your guy. Like, oh, how have you never been? I think if you lay in there, it'd be nice and secure. Put the grey one over there. We want to hope this doesn't topple over because it's looking rather full. Yeah, right. I think that's it now, though. I think we could get a few more minis in there, to be honest. Ooh, Let's fill the gaps, <laughs> says the one who doesn't have to push it. Okay, I think over here, we haven't been over this section yet. Oh, guys, this is the best day ever. I'm having so much fun. It's literally so, oh my God, it's just so, Fun. I absolutely love it. Oh my goodness. What on earth is that? If you guys do come to this pumpkin patch, highly recommend coming to the end of the patch. So that's like where the marquee and stuff is up there. Come to the end because that's where you find all of the super cute, like little pumpkins, all the different ones. Um, but at the top, it was mainly just like the big orange and big white ones. So yeah, just a little bit of a pumpkin picking tip for you. to push it about a centimetre and half the pumpkins have fallen off but he said it's all down to packing so <sighs> let's try again then I think we're gonna have to go get another one and half them oh <laughs> oh my goodness oh Jamie we're gonna have to go get another one look do you want me to, shall I carry the right one then? <laughs> oh. Hey guys, we are inside the marquee and look how much beautiful Halloween stuff they've got. I love these, so cute. And I think I really want to get this because I think this will look perfect on the porch. That's absolutely adorable. They've got loads of bits that you can buy. Look at all these wreaths. Wow. They are so beautiful. Like they've got some huge autumn wreaths around there. Wow. I really want to get one of these wreaths because you never see these giant wreaths anywhere. And look how beautiful they are. <gasps> Which one shall I get? I really love this one, but then I also love that one as well. And then I love this one over here. Oh, all of these signs are brilliant. Pumpkins. Oh, look at these. Oh, I've got to get my mum one of those. 
so cute. Little Wurzel Gummidge key rings. Halloween craft stalls, which I could have spent many, many hours in there. Oh my God, they had so, like, you know, it's just so overwhelming. I was looking back because I took loads of pictures of everything and I was looking back and I saw things on the pictures that I didn't see whilst I was there and I wish I'd got. Like there was these little like fox lanterns that I spotted on the picture. But I feel like when there's so much in front of you, it kind of just all mashes together. I always do that as well in home sense videos. Like when I film what's new in home sense, when I watch it back, I'm like, oh, I wish I got that. But yeah, we had a look around the Halloween craft stall. Then we got some food, which was delicious. I had the same roll as Jamie had earlier on in the day. Oh my God, nicest roll I think I've ever had. And Jamie also got some donuts. And also as well, one of you guys messaged me saying that that's your like yearly tradition is to go to Underly Farms. And apparently there's a stall that does pumpkin pie, but I didn't see that one. But I really want to make it a yearly tradition that we go there because it was just so fun. Um, we really wanted to go in the maze, but we got some food and it started tipping it down. So we went and sat in the car to eat that. And then it literally hasn't stopped raining since earlier it's literally been raining all day so we decided to come home but i picked up a few bits for our autumn porch which i'm so happy about because i thought that we had everything but i don't know i felt like it needed some like statement pieces like we've got some hay bales um, I've got some like crates. I went to B&Q and got some flowers as well to put in the crates. Felt like it would look not, not finished, but oh my goodness, the bits that I found were the bits that I needed, but I didn't even know about it. So first things first, I picked up the Autumn Wreath of Dreams. I've been after a wreath that looks like this for my entire life. I can never find ones that are this big. Like, I love it. I think that's going to look so gorgeous on the front door. These, because I thought they were just so cute. They're just these little, like, pumpkin signs. I got this one. I also got this welcome one. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do with these yet. Um, I'm not sure whether these are going to kind of go outside. I was thinking of keeping these for little accessories to, like, go on the shelves and near, like, the coffee corner and stuff like that. Then I also got this one for my mum because it looks like the female version of Wurzel Gummidge and I know that she'll just love that, it's so cute. Okay, you're just not ready to see these. I love them so much. This is like something that you hope to find in Home Sense, but you never actually find in Home Sense. I just thought these, oh my God, they're just gonna look so nice next to the door like this surrounded by pumpkins so our plans for the evening are i think we're gonna light the fire um we say this every single week but it actually seems like we may not burn alive in the house today if we light it this house is so hot that we've been really scared to light the fire in case it just makes the upstairs feel like a furnace for days um and we're gonna find a film to watch we finished squid game last night which you guys know i had mixed reviews about i'm not gonna lie i'm happy it's over because it now means we can move on to like a crime bbc series set in the countryside that weirdly makes me feel cozy even though it's definitely not meant to make you feel cozy because you know bad crime things are happening but yeah, Squid Game, I don't know. It. I did not enjoy it, that's the thing. Well, 
I wanted to find out what was happening. I was intrigued. I was nosy. Um, it was different. Like, it was really different. And it's definitely worth a watch. So if you are kind of like, I'm in a, uh, uh, if you are, I'm in a, uh, if you are umming and erring about watching Squid Game, I'd say watch it. But it made me just feel really unsettled. Like each night when I was actually going to bed, I just, I don't know. I felt really unsettled. And some of the episodes were incredibly sad. So be prepared to cry also. We've got 15 minutes left, but on the last episode, we both That's fell asleep, but we were kind of in and out of sleep, weren't we? So we only heard bits of the conversation at the end. Mm, oh yeah. And then it got to 15 minutes and I was like, should we just go to sleep and watch the rest? So we need to watch the end of that first. Because I do still kind of want to know, like, I want it to make sense. Even though I'm scared it's going to be one of those series that you watch the end and it still doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> also, you guys have given us a Netflix recommendation, which is called... Is it the chestnut man? Chestnut man. The What's chestnut it about? man. Read us the um the blurb. Uh, the grisly murder scene sits a figurine made of chestnuts. Oh stop it! <laughs> Is that really it? From this creepy clue, two detectives. Have... You're making that up. I am not. From this creepy clue, two detectives hunt a killer linked to a politician's missing child. Have we seen this? No, that was the one where he came to the door and shot the dad, wasn't it? Well, I think he was pretending to be a pizza for the big bag. Oh, oh yeah, that was ages ago. See, the only part about this chestnut man that I'm not keen on is the fact that the guy's made out of, like, I don't, I, the crime documentaries I love are like real life. See, it's the whole thing with like, what was that? Jeepers Creepers. I loved Jeepers Creepers what, until he, he had he's wings. Made out of chestnuts. You said he was made out of chestnuts, <laughs> Jamie. No. Listen again. <laughs> what the I got? Murderers made out of chestnuts. That's why I thought you were making. No. It. That's what you said. No. I'm gonna said. rewind. I am gonna rewind because that <laughs> is what you said. A man walking down the street. Murder <laughs> scene. Sits a figurine made of chestnuts. Yeah, the murderer's not just going to sit there, is he, waiting for the police to tip up? So what's the figurine made of chestnuts? Oh, guys, I don't know if I'm going to like this chestnut man. So listen, the murderer's a normal man, right? But his little... How do you know that? Well, I'm just assuming. <laughs> and, but he leaves his little mark when he does a murder. It's chestnuts! He's a chestnut man. It's a, chest it's a man made out of chestnuts. <laughs> so you did say a man made out of chestnuts. Yeah, but the murderer, imagine <laughs> the, the murderer. Stop. Okay, guys, we're gonna start watching Chestnut Man, and I'll come back after the first episode and let you know my thoughts. Um, are we gonna light the fire? Do you want to light the fire? I want to, but don't want to burn. No. It would be cozy. It would. And we have wanted to light it. So if we light it, mm. how long till we can put it out? Like, how long has it got to stay on? Because if it's like all evening and night, maybe not. It depends how much wood you put on it. Well, sorry, I've never lit a fire before. <laughs> yes, you have. When? At your cottage. Yeah, but I didn't light it, you lit it. I'm ready from last time, though. Yeah. All I've got to do is light it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's oh, do it. I'm excited. We haven't seen it on yet. Hand. It's because you annoy him. I was only trying to have a hug with him. <laughs> Rock a boy, Teddy, on a treetop. <laughs> oh, I'm excited to see it on for the first time. This was one of the main things we were so excited about when we first looked round the house. Yeah, no, we moved in it was summer. <laughs> the fire on, we're gonna watch Chestnut Man. <laughs> Perfect rainy Saturday afternoon. Cozy. <laughs> Teddy, your observer, <laughs> learning. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh, Teddy. We're setting the fire. In the house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Teddy. Where did you do that? Oh my god. That looks dangerous, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what the worst thing is, guys? We do that more than we'd actually care to admit. We... <laughs> 
are constantly talking to each other in Teddy and Tilly's voices. But like we're having a conversation, it's so I can't even explain it. Like Jamie just did, that's what we'll do all day, every day, but to each other. <gasps> a crackling fire. A real crackling fire. It sounds just like the, um, the YouTube, YouTube one. <laughs> Amy's fire update. <laughs> My face feels hot. He nearly caught his sock on fire. <laughs> so it's a lot later on in the evening now. What time is it? Oh my god, it actually feels about 10 o'clock. I could actually go to sleep for the full night. So, it's a lot later on in the evening now. We popped out to get Chinese. We started watching Chestnut Man. And we got to the end of episode one and we were both we were both actually falling asleep, weren't we? Mm. I don't know whether, don't That's know whether though, that was thing. because we kind of were in a little bit of a food coma. <laughs> Because I was like super sleepy. Um, but we just couldn't really get into it. And I yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed coming pumpkin picking with us today. We are decorating the porch tomorrow, which is really exciting. And of course, I'm going to film a whole decorating the porch with me, which will be up next Sunday. So, <laughs> what are you doing? Holding my hand up to speak. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I thought wait. Jamie was going like this for the <laughs> no, porch. I, I thought he was going... Asking, can I say something? All I could see was this. Do it. I know why it feels so late. Why? Because we've had an early finish. Early finish? As in like when you got back and you started editing your videos and stuff. Oh, we've had like more of an evening, I guess. Because mm. we usually wouldn't you kind finish. of like settle down, I guess, until like half eight, nine. Yeah, true actually. But yeah, decorating the porch tomorrow. Really excited to see what it looks like. So yeah, I'll see you guys on Sunday. I hope you're all having a lovely week and I'll catch up with you at the weekend. Night guys. Mm -hmm.